Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number six. And we are going up against an alliance called Trapa Alpha. All right, so we're gonna scout my paths out together and see if we need to make any changes to the team I normally come in here with. So I take path three in sections one and two. Uh, I see right off they did not place a defender, and I see Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, I can take Cosmic Ghost Rider here with Black Widow Clairvoyant. I can take him with Warlock. Uh, so I don't see any reason to change out uh, any team member for that. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're already fighting the uh, mini, so I most likely will not have to deal with him. And then we've got this domino. Uh, if I need to, uh, Warlock can take her out. Uh, we have someone that takes out that Korg on Mixmaster. Uh, we've got this Mysterio on the EMP modification node. Uh, I can do that fight with Nick Fury if I have to. Uh, or Black Widow Clairvoyant. Warlock, maybe but I would probably end up using Black Widow Clairvoyant or Nick Fury. Next, we've got uh, Hulkbuster, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, we've got Colossus here, again, Black Widow Clairvoyant. We've got Mr. Sinister, Warlock, if he's in good shape, can do that fight. All right, let's see the minis we have to deal with. On the left, Warlock. Warlock is usually a good counter for Warlock. Um, Nick Fury, I can do that with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, Apocalypse, I might be able to do that with Warlock. Depends on what shape he's in. Uh, then we've got down below Sasquatch. Uh, I would rather not take that fight. Uh, Human Torch usually does that uh, fight very well, so I most likely won't have to touch him. Uh, then we've got over to the right here, Terax. And I don't know. Nick Fury wouldn't be good for that one. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant maybe uh, can take that fight. Uh, Warlock, I'm not sure. I don't remember fighting him with Warlock, so I'm not sure. Uh, Spider-Gwen, uh, I can take that with uh, really anyone, if you uh, play it carefully, you know, hit her when she's stunned. Uh, but what makes her a little bit tricky, let me see if I remember right. Yeah, the limber. So that makes it a little bit tricky. But uh, Nick Fury, when he gets his tactical charges up, she won't be able to evade or anything like that. So... Uh, he would be good for that fight if he's still in shape. We've got a Sasquatch boss. Again, Human Torch uh, for that fight. And that Magneto, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, if I need to. All right, so we'll be back with the fighting. And I will see you guys in a moment. All right, so here's the team I am going in with, just like, I mentioned earlier, uh, Warlock, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. That team has been a solid attack team for me uh, in these wars. So unless I see something that would make me replace one of them, uh, someone on the path, and in later wars, uh, that may be the case, where I have to swap out someone to deal with someone on my path. Uh, but not so this war. So I went ahead and boosted up. I always boost up at least with the 15 percenter. I get them all the time from the solo objectives. Uh, you see the nodes we have to deal with here. Uh, honestly, I don't anticipate a really bad time on this fight. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, while he is a powerhouse on offense, he's not really that difficult for me to beat on defense. All right, and the nodes uh, haven't made him any more of a defender all right as long as you know how to evade these special ones of his 
uh, you're good. I'm not so good at evading a special two, so I try to avoid uh, taking him to a special two. And as you saw there, we were done. I stayed in Curse of Plague because that has a little bit of a power control. And just in case my special two didn't finish him off, I wanted to have that power control so that I didn't push him to a special two. Also, uh, he's not poison immune. All right, so now this one got me because I didn't fight anyone on that first node, right? And the mini was already taken. So I had already planned on bringing my warlock against that domino. And I was just a little too late. When I started, uh, nobody was fighting her and he got there just before I did. All right, so no domino fight, but we do have this Mysterio and he is on EMP modification. Now I've mentioned EMP modification before. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, every time you buff, I don't remember, did I look at it here? Uh, yeah, there we go. There's EMP modification, okay? So I don't need to describe it to you. You can pause it, read it. Uh, but the basic strategy is to avoid buffs because he will fire his special. Every time you, you uh, uh, gain a buff, he's gonna get some charges. And when he fires his special, for every charge, you're gonna get a passive shock on you that's gonna wreck you. Um, it hurts. So what a lot of people will do here, they will uh, switch out their mastery so they take off decks. That way they don't get that buff from dexing. All right? Um, or they bring in someone who can't gain buffs like Red Guardian, perfect for this fight. I did neither of those things. Okay, my Red Guardian is not ranked up and I was not changing my masteries. So what I had to do and what you saw there was just avoid um, buffs, you know, block, parry, but try not to dex. And if you do dex, try to dex early so that you don't trigger dexterity. Not easy, but with Nick Fury, I can do it. Because if I do mess up, I've got a little bit of leeway. All right, so now on this node here, uh, path three, section two, normally I see Colossus here. But instead, they had Hulkbuster. Now, Hulkbuster has caught me in the, um, I think, Alliance quest because, of course, they've updated him and he will put armor breaks on you without the need to touch you. And that wrecked Ghost. All right, see, I've got an armor break on me. He never touched me. That's part of his new kit. Uh, but of course, Black Widow Clairvoyant is up for the task. We don't care about all that. Uh, we'll block all of this. I cannot evade that beam. So just block it or avoid pushing him to a special two. Um, but we just blocked it and we're good. She's still in good shape. I love Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, even if I get hurt, uh, if I have some time, I can, you know, heal her back up. She saves items. Uh, no regrets taking her to rank three. Uh, she's currently my top champ. Now, here's the Colossus that I would have expected on that first node. I'm not sure why this particular node does not make him uh, any more difficult. That node um, had more to enhance Colossus, which is why you often see him on that node. Uh, but of course, if you know that somebody's going to bring in a clairvoyant, doesn't matter where you put him. Here, I just have to remember, see how I'm just standing there? Because I have to remember not to hit into his block to kind of coax him to attack because of the node. So not a big deal. All right. And so we're just going in. He's got buff immunity now from my special two. And I healed all the way back up. But of course, um, I still take recoil damage afterwards. So I can never use my special two to get all the way and stay at full unless my special two is what finishes them off. Then I can do it. Otherwise, I'm going to have that recoil damage uh, kick in always. All right. So down goes Colossus without too much difficulty, uh, no matter where he was there. 
Now here we've got Mr. Sinister. Now I was gonna use Warlock against Domino, but you'll do Mr. Sinister. So you see that buffet. And of course, Mr. Sinister also has his own healing. So you want to bring someone that can stop the healing, especially when you see Mr. Sinister. All right, Void can do this fight just fine. And so can Warlock. So what I'm gonna do, and that first parry didn't happen, but I'm just parrying to get the infections up faster. See, we got the infection up. He's not gonna heal at this point. Okay, see, he's got regeneration, doesn't matter. Fire off my special two and just ate him. Look at his health. We just started this fight. Love it. These boosts are nice. And he's down. Not a difficult fight. I so want a six-star Warlock. If I get a six-star Warlock, he will absolutely go to rank three as soon as I can bring him up there. I like him a lot. He is probably my favorite tech champion. So versatile, so useful. All right, we're here at Mini Boss Island. And we can see there someone nibbled on Warlock instead of uh, waiting for me to come in. But this fight, it's a rage node. And Black Widow Clairvoyant does very good against rage because the furies that you get because of the node she can nullify also uh she doesn't tend to hit so hard that she triggers protection so she's actually an all-around great champion um she does a lot of hits but each hit doesn't do so much damage that it triggers that protection so we're usually good with using her, but sometimes, especially because I boosted, the last hit of her special two can trigger protection. All right, so here we go. We're going in here. We're just chewing his health up. All right, you see how I backed off? You know, not a full five hit combo. And then he just starts smacking me up. I don't know why. All right, he fired his special two off and I'm sitting here a little salty because I'm like, man, don't you know I've got to use her again, and I don't want to heal her up, all right? So now, uh, I'm just like, okay, I need to keep his power down, and that triggered protection, as I was telling you. This happens sometimes, all right? And then, oh man, I was like swinging in the air right there. Not a pretty fight, okay? Um, but we're gonna get him down. Uh, got all that uh, power. He's almost at a special three, so I'm just waiting. Got to bait, 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 bait. Come on, come on, come on. And we probably could have finished him off, but I did not want to risk it. Things happen in Alliance War, okay? And uh, he has a protection up, so he wasn't taking as much damage as I would have liked, but we got him down in the end. Yeah, in Alliance War, I don't take those things for granted. I should have been able to do a nice five-hit combo, maybe even a special to finish him off. But in Alliance War, something would have happened and he would have been at a special three and he would have taken me out, <laughs> taken me out. He would have taken me out and that would have been a death. All right, so now we got Nick Fury. And I didn't want to do it, but I gave her a couple of heals. Um, I do not want to die. Okay, do not want to die. The war is extremely close. When I say extremely close, me dying could lose us the war at this point. Okay, so I healed up and we are taking this fight nice and slow, but you may have noticed something. Did you notice that it was the real Nick Fury we're fighting? I lucked out big time. Boom, he's down. I never had to deal with the life model decoy. Don't ask me why. I've heard of this bug before, but it's a blessing. I'll take it. All right, so now we have to fight Apocalypse. Now on, a, on this node, we've got again, um, a special two bias, but we have power gain 
Enhanced Special 2. Uh, I don't like fighting Apocalypse, but I learned a little something from fighting him before. Just take it slow and block. You know, so we're going to parry, parry. You know, that didn't parry, but that's fine. Um, we just need to get the infections up on him before we go. And then he starts smacking me up. I'm like, oh, man, come on. Really? This is how this is going to go. All right. So now we've got the infections up so we can control his power and all that good stuff. He's got protection up now. Okay. And I'm like, wow, I didn't know Warlock had it like that. All right. So we're still uh, trying to get this guy down. Now, just look at this. All right. I dexed the last part of his beam to kind of avoid that extra damage. Now, Warlock at a special three has a crazy power game, uh, power uh, drain. All right. So you see that I pushed him to a special two, even though I don't want him to fire a special two, unless he does it split second when the special three is over here, he's not going to get a special th uh, two. All right. Now, see that? Look at that. Look how fast it's draining, guys. He was almost at a special three. He could have fired his special two. He did not, and he lost that ability. So at this point, I'm like, okay, if we just keep playing it like that, we should be good. Keep the infections up and fire the special. This, I don't know, guys. It happens every once in a while. I don't know why that happens. Um... I know that he has like that stun on one of his attacks, but I didn't think he was uh, ramped up yet. So I'm not sure why I was getting hit earlier, why I was getting hit right there. Um, I, I need to upgrade my iPad, that's for sure. All right, so we're down to the wire here. All right, and so see, I'm just sitting there, we're just eyeing each other, sizing each other up. I'm, I'm smashing this thing because I want to get him all right, and here we go. Done. I was playing it very, very carefully there. Didn't even want to fire the special two in case some shenanigans happened and he ended up blocking it. All right, so uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Um, like I said, this was a very, very close war. Uh, so we will find out in a moment uh, how this war ended. So stay tuned. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Very, very close war. This was a 20-point war. A single death or an attack bonus. Very, very close war. Well fought, guys. Well fought. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, we, we were kept uh, guessing right up into the end whether we were going to get this one or not. But we got it. So that's going to do it. Take care. Click like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day.